Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Thursday. Rapper Kodak Black bonds out of jail after a federal judge in Miami ruled for his release after serving about two months behind bars for a probation violation. After his release, he got aggressive with one of our photojournalists. Video shows the rapper throwing rocks at our camera and threatening to punch a local 10 reporter. Kodak Black, whose real name is Bill Capri, had been locked up since mid-December. He was arrested for drug possession, which triggered probation violation. And they're okay. saying right now there's a little girl buried in the sand. Okay, let them know the call has been entered, okay? We are hearing the frantic 911 calls made by beachgoers after two children were trapped underneath the sand at the beach in Lauderdale by the sea. Deputies identifying those children as nine-year-old Maddox Mattingly and his seven-year-old sister, Sloan Mattingly. Sloan lost her life after officers told us she was trapped in the sand for several minutes before being pulled out. An argument between a father and sons turned deadly in northwest Miami-Dade. Officers say the father and his 40-year-old son argued Wednesday afternoon near West Lake Drive and Bay Hill Drive. The son was airlifted to an Aventura hospital where he died. It is unclear who fired the shots and what started the dispute. Officers have not said if anyone will be facing any charges. And members of a Lauderdale Hill community coming together Wednesday to voice their concerns over an increase in violent hate crimes. A town hall comes after an elderly rabbi was attacked by another man after leaving a synagogue. Members of the Lauderdale Hill Police Department were there to give assurances to the city's Jewish community. They pointed out that some criminals walk free because witnesses refuse to cooperate. It's a culture officers say they are working to change. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.